Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a great question. Somebody was asking us what was the easiest way of putting a pop-up contact form on every page on a site? Well, the way I do it is with a little pop-up button in the footer down here. I've got a little contact us button in the footer. When I click on it, it's gonna pop up a contact form. People can fill it out, send it off as needed. And if you put it in your footer, it's gonna appear on every page. And I'm using the fantastic Divi Supreme Pro plugin for this today, and you will need that if you wanna build this today. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. Let's enable the visual builder here. Great, and what we wanna do first is actually create the contact form that we want to pop up. So I'm gonna create this and save it to my library so it doesn't matter where we put it because we're gonna delete it once we saved it to the library. So I'll pop it right here. I'm gonna hit the little dark button to add a new module. And I'm gonna get a contact form. There are all the light gray modules that are what comes with Divi as standard. There's a contact form. There it is right there. I'm not gonna to spend too much time styling it because this is about the pop-up really. Obviously you've got fields here, name, email, message. You can add new fields here if you need to, check boxes and what have you. We can give it a title, which will appear on the top. Let's say contact us, or obviously whatever you want. As you can see, it's popped it up there. Success message, Let's see message sent. So that you know once they've sent it, a little message will pop up. Submit button, I'm happy for it to say submit. If you want to write something else in there, just pop it down there. Now, of course, the important part is where do you want the form sent? That's in the email just below. Put in your email. Me at my email. Wherever it is you want your form to be sent. You can have it redirect if you want to. I'm going to leave that off. I'm happy for it to stay where it is when they submit it and it'll just pop up with message sent afterwards. Spam protection, we've got a basic capture there or basic spam protection. You can add a third party service such as Google recapture or something like that. You'll have to put in an API key and turn it off and on there. I don't want to link this to anything. Background, I'm going to give it a background because it's going to pop out into the middle of our screen at the end there. And we want to give it a bit of a background. So background, I'm going to give it a simple purple color. As with all things Divi, you can go to town if you want to. You've got color, gradient, image, background video, background pattern, or background mask. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Okay, well, I'm going to just do some basic design. I'm going to give it a bit of spacing. and I'm going to make that text white for the title up here. And most of these fields, you can just hit the little blue circle with a paintbrush in it. It'll take you straight to the edit box for that. This is for the title up there. I'm going to make it capital, I'm going to make it white, and I'm going to pop it in the middle. Fantastic. And I better change that capture text so you can read it. Again, I'm just going to hit the little paintbrush. There we are. I'm just going to make that white. And I'm going to give the whole thing a bit of spacing so it's not buffered up against the edges. Let's roll down a little bit and we'll go down to our spacing. I'm going to give it, say, 25 pixels all around. Just put in the 25, it'll put in the pics. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And we'll do the same for left and right. Great, well, we've got a little contact form there. And that's all I really want to do. We've built that. Let's save this now. And what I'm going to do is save it to my library. So all you do is click on it. Little round circle between the duplicate boxes and the trash can there is saved to library. We want to hit that, we'll give it a name, say footer, contact, or footer form. Let's call it footer form, that's fine, all one word. Don't want to save it as Divi Cloud, I'm not using that at the moment. Don't want to save it as global, because it's only be one thing. So I'm going to hit the save to library button. Great, well now we've saved it to our library button, we want to pop it up. So I can trash it, because I don't want it to be here all the time, so I can get rid of that and we'll save our page changes down the bottom here. Now I'm using a global footer for this today, which is the easiest way to put it in there. So I guess I better show you how to create a quick global footer. Let's go down to our dashboard. And if we go down to Divi and Theme Builder, 
That will take us to this page here. And as you can see, I've got a global footer. Let's just trash that and we'll start from scratch and I'll keep it really simple so we can do this quite quickly. So I'm gonna trash that. And we'll start from scratch. I'm gonna hit the add global footer button. I'm gonna say build global footer. Okay, and by default, it puts in a section for us, the blue tab up there. We need to add a row. I'm gonna add a three column row, perhaps with a wider part in the middle, because I have logo on the side, menu, and then our little button. So I think something like that will work for me. On the left, I want my little logo. So I'll use an image module for that. And we'll put my logo in there. And I'll use that white one. I know you probably can't see that very well. In fact, let's give this a background. Let's save that little image right there. Obviously, you want to put a link to the top of your page or your website URL there to take it back to the home page every time if that's what you want. I'm just going to save that. Let's give our footer a little blue background or a section. So I'm going to click up here, go into my blue tab for the section. I'm simply going to give it a blue background under the content tab, background. Simply going to give it a blue color. That way you can see the logo and everything that's going on there. Great. Well, in the middle, I want a menu. So I'm simply going to use a menu module. There we go. Top menu is the one I want in there. Obviously, you can select which menu you want here. I've only got the one on this site. Okay, it comes with a default white background there. Well, I want to get rid of that. I want to put the text in the middle and make that white. So again, under the content tab, we can go down to background. There's that white color. Let's just take that away. And if we go to the design, here's the menu text. Active link color, I'm going to make that white. Menu text color, I'm going to make that white too. I want to pop it in the middle. And we'll worry about padding in a little while when we line it all up. Okay, let's save our changes here. And in this one, I'm going to add the button that we're going to pop up our little contact module with. So I'm simply going to use a button module. And let's say contact us. Okay, great. Now we want to pop this up. So we're going to be using the Divi Supreme Pro module. We're going to use their pop-up extension. So to do that, let's go to the dashboard and I'll show you how to do that. Let's go back here, let's get our dashboard up again. And I'll put the Divi Supreme link below the video. Once you've installed and activated it, you'll find it in your little menu down here. If you go down there and click on this, it's gonna take you to this page and under the general settings, you want to make sure that you've got enable Divi pop-up switched on the right hand side so it's purple like that. If you don't do this, this won't work today. So make sure you've got that switched on to the right hand side and save your changes. Great. Well, once you've done that, we can go back here and we can add a pop-up. So if we go back to our theme builder now and I go back into this button. Okay, we're not going to need to put a link in here because it's going to pop up our contact form, but we do want to style it. So let's go over to the design tab. Alignment wise, I want it to be in the middle of the row. The text, I'm going to make light. Button itself, you can custom style it and do all the regular things you want there. I'm going to leave mine just like that. That's going to work for me today. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Now let's just tidy up this footer a bit. I want this row perhaps to be full width. So you can see the green lines of the row. Click anywhere within the row. We can go into the row, the green tab right here. Let's make this full width. So I'm going to go over to design. I'm going to go over to sizing. I'm going to pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that 100%, control C, and I'm going to paste it in the max width below, control V, or you can just type it in there if you want. We're now full width, which is great. My logo's got a bit too big, but the menu's where we want it. And the button's kind of where we want it right there. So while we're still in the row, I'm going to take any padding away top and bottom because this is too wide for us at the moment. So if we roll down to spacing just below there, here's the padding. Put a zero in there, hit the chain, make sure there's none on the bottom as well. Great. Fantastic. 
Okay, well let's go back into our logo and make it a bit more the size we want to. So if we go into the logo itself, dark tab for the module. I'm going to go over to the design. Alignment wise, I want it in the middle of the column it's sitting in, which it will be at the moment anyway. Sizing wise, I want it to be smaller. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to take the width down. Remember, it's in the middle of our column, so it's going to stay there. That's about right for me. Perhaps a little bit smaller. Fantastic. And we can save that now. And I just need to push this menu down slightly so it's more in line. So if we go into the menu, we can just add a bit of padding to the top. Let's go up to the design, spacing. Let's try 20 on the top, probably be too much. It's actually not too bad. You can increment up and down with the little arrows right here to fine tune if you want to. That's close enough to me. So I'm happy with that. Okay, well let's make our pop-up happen for our button. So we need to go into the button to make this happen. We need to go to the Advanced tab. We need to go down to Visibility. If we roll down a bit, you'll see a little button that says Use Pop-Up. Now, remember, you've got to have Divi Supreme installed and you've got to have Enable Pop-Up switched on. If you don't have that, you're not going to see this button here. So if you don't see it, that's probably why. I'm going to switch that to Yes. I want to pop up a layout, which is what the contact form that we save to our library there. There's various different options. You can pop out a layout, an iframe, an image, or a video, and we've covered many of these in previous videos. Just check out our Divi Supreme play playlist down below if you want to see more on that. Okay, what library item do we want? Well, we want the footer form, which is the last thing I saved to my library. It should be on the bottom right there. There it is. There's the footer form. We want to close pop-up we want it to trigger on module click right here, or you could trigger it on button click purely because our module is a button. So either of those is gonna work for us today. Close pop-up trigger when it pops out, we'll have one outside. I don't wanna auto close it. If you enable that, you can put a time frame in like 10 seconds or two minutes. And after that time, it'll automatically close. You've got all kind of different entrance and exit animations if you want to flash things up when it comes in. I'm going to leave mine on the default there. Pop-up position, I want it to be in the center. I want it to be absolute, so if they try scrolling up and down the screen, it'll stay there. I'm not going to use full width. For me, the default seems to work perfectly, the 680. You can, if you want to, choose different widths for mobile and tablet versions by hitting this little icon here. If you just roll over the dark riding, you'll see these icons appear. If you hit the mobile, you can put in separate values for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Like I say, I'm going to leave mine on the default. Show overlay, that means it'll darken out the background a little bit, and it'll give us a nice dark background color there. You can show a close button. It's going to be inside the actual pop-up itself. And you can choose the font size and the actual icon that you want to use. The default's an X, which is pretty standard. So I'm going to leave mine just as it is. And of course, you've got a color for the button if you need to. Great. Well, that's all we need to do. Let's save our button right here. I want to make that footer slightly narrower. So we'll take a bit of padding away from our section there. So let's go into the section, the blue tab up here. We'll go over to design and spacing. And let's try giving it 20 top and bottom. That may be not enough. So again, just put in the 20, it'll put in the picks. I think that's going to work, actually. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. That looks about right for me. So let's save our changes now. Hit the little purple button. Save the page changes. We can X out. And there's our little global footer. We'll make sure everything's saved on this page. Now, if we go back to our site, there's our old footer. It looks pretty similar, but they got a purple button there. If I refresh this page now, it should change to our new one. I can actually exit this visual builder. And once I exit, it will refresh the page anyway, and that purple button should turn blue down there. And let's roll down to the bottom of the page. And there's our new footer there with our blue button. When I click on it, it's gonna pop out our contact form its fixed position or its absolute position there 
people can fill it out and send it off. They can either click on there or click anywhere outside and it'll pop back down again. And of course, as it's on a global footer, it's going to appear on every page. So people will be able to contact you on every page. So that's the way I do it. I hope that's answered that question. The question was, how do I add a pop-up contact form to all of my pages? The Divi theme global footer makes it really easy for you. And Divi Supreme modules has that fantastic pop-up extension, which allows you to pop up anything from just about anything down there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, Put them down below i'll do my best to answer them for you or i'll make a demo video if i can once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day